Hi, and welcome back. This is Fia. Today, I thought we would make an art journal page. Uh, sorry if I'm sounding a bit... <coughs> sorry. Uh, I think I'm getting a cold or something. <coughs> uh, using collage. And I've already chosen my pieces that I want to collage with, which is this background page of a forest. And these I've just gotten out of different books I have, just for this reason. And we've got a stairs. And we got a little tree on a meadow. So it's gonna become something like this. Uh, I'm just gonna use uh, Liquitex matte gel medium uh, to glue all this stuff down and let it dry and then I'll be back and we start with the painting and continue on making this into a proper page so I'll see you in a bit <laughs> bye okay hi so I am back this and on my Right, you see here, I've just put out some acrylic colors. It's a white, a black, a green, a pearlescent green, and a brown. And all of these are heavy body acrylics, except this, which is a craft acrylic. So I'm just going to use a brush for this. And I was thinking that this would become like a gateway. Uh, like in the forest, going into... Uh, this is just a story I have in my head, um, a gateway going in through a land where there is only one tree, one tree. So I'll just start by trying to get rid of uh, the edges. And this gateway, in my mind, is misty-like. So that's why I'm going in with white here. Just swirling it. Uh, or just putting it on not uh, smooth, so to speak. I think getting some. running over the edges here and then up here I'm just going with some green and I think I'll mix it with some brown to get a duller kind of green not so bright Just to get rid of the edge. So to speak. I'm doing the same thing. Down here. And I might have to put like two coats or something on to get get it to be uh, more co cover. And I'm just continuing on the tree st uh, stems. The tree. Oh my God! What do you call that? Trunks. And here I just go in with some gray in the bottom here. Continuing on the stairs. 
So, okay, first coat is done. I'm gonna dry this, so heat cam. And, and I don't know if you saw, but most of the edges here were torn, and that's because it makes them easier to blend in with the color. Uh, so, I just cut them like this was the size of the page, so I couldn't tear it to get it smaller. Um, but otherwise, like here, I cut it just because I wanted a straight line there. So, okay, we're gonna continue, and I'm gonna add some of this green to my mist ish to make it magical. And if you heard this swishing, it's just me rinsing off my uh, brush in my water bucket I have over here. Okay, I think I'm gonna go in with my fingers. And just get a more swirly feel to it. Sometimes the brush leaves these marks in a way. I don't know how to explain it, but uh, which makes you don't get, you get a certain s type of texture, so to speak, which might not be the texture you're looking for in this specific case, like now, for me, it's, I want something more flowy and more like Misty, in a sense. Oh, get my baby wipe. And this is something that can take a couple of layers and it can take as long as you want, uh, as long as, for me, this is a form of letting my mind wander and just doing its thing. which I find truly soothing. And you see, I'm trying to make like these sort of smoky tendrils just going off. doing their thing, whatever that might be. Now I'm gonna go in with this pearlescent green again in my smoke fog otherworldly little gate
and I'm still leaving some of the white uh, showing, um, not uh, making it all green, but keeping it a mixture between the white and the green, just to make sh try to make it more ethereal. ethereal. I hope that's how you say it. Hmm. I think I'm gonna let this sit for a bit. And I'm gonna go in and just get a smaller brush and go in here and just add some white so it's not just a blob of uh, green up here but it keeps going with like the foliage feel that's in the actual photograph or book page something like that and here they've got like daisies and stuff so I'm gonna go in and just model it up a bit where it isn't um, where it isn't um, uh, fog Speckle up the tree trunks, something like that. And maybe make a little bit of a lighter green, some brown. Just to blend this in a bit. Something like that. Yeah, I like it. Now I'm just gonna go here with some white. And then with some shades of grey and just model this up as well. More black. I hope you can see this. Oh, sorry, I'm out of frame. I'm down here doing the last step. Like so. And then I'm going to use my finer uh, round brush and just start. With the mist getting some swirlies actions going. Just trying to make it look um, alive in a way, uh, moving, not a static like a door, but more like uh, mist that isn't just in one place. And I'm using the brush to get like thinner lines 
and I'm also using my finger to like um, <clears throat> soften up the lines so they're not so maybe not over the little tree so they're not so uh, harsh they become you see softer and uh, more wispy in a way Now I'm just going to go and make some smaller ones down here. So it's like it's creeping down, or engulfing the stairs as well. But not as uh, energetic as it up is up at uh, the gateway itself. Like so, and this is something I just, I don't know, I can think I can sit forever and just fiddle with stuff like this. And just add, take away, paint over, add some more. Now I'm just going in with some more of the green and using the brush so it's more glazing because this is a pretty uh, translucent, translucent color mm. and it's the Panduro brand um, of uh, like uh, uh, per lime it's called Something like that. I kind of like that, actually. It's kind of weird and fun at the same time. A bit like me. <laughs> weird and fun. Yeah, something like that I think is pretty cool, actually. It's okay, I am feeling a bit done uh, with this. And as you see, I don't always... <clears throat> Let's see if I can get this more. Uh, I don't always spend super long on my art journal pages. Um, and for me, it's not about how long I spend on a page. It's it's finished when I feel it's finished. And for me, this one feels finished. Uh, I don't even want to put... Um, I had a thought about putting text on this, but I don't want to. To be honest, I kind of like it just the way it is right now. Uh, so I'm actually just going to sign it as I tend to do. We will sign it. I will sign it here with the date and my name. And this is something I do uh, all the time. And it's fun because I can see... Even though this one I'm doing chronologically, I'm not jumping around in this um, art journal. Uh, it still makes it so I can see the progress I make in my journals. So that's it. Uh, it became a really quick and easy page for me. Uh, more so than what I had envisioned from the beginning. But I hope you enjoyed. 
and I will see you in the next video. Bye!